perpetrators woke up the other day and declared the mob violence was A-OK -okay after bitching and moaning about it from everyone else. So they put on their surplus tactical gear, grabbed their dumb red hats, and they chugged a beer, and they went down to Capitol Hill to embarrass themselves. Well, when they stormed the gates, you know, the pigs were there, but hell, they didn't seem to care. They opened up the barricade and they let them through. When they muscled past all them guarded doors and they ran on down to that Senate floor, they called it a protest. It was a coup. Coup, boogaloo, it was a coup, boogaloo. When the fascist crew came marching through, they turned D.C. into a zoo. In Civil War Part Two, you'll see me wearing Union Blue. Oh, when the frenzied mob finally got inside, they somehow found it justified to trash the place and force all the staff to flee. But when I watched them hoist their treasonous flag, no joke, I legitimately thought I'd gag at the gross display of right-wing anarchy. Oh, when the feds arrived, things got sour. Hardly even took an hour. Someone got shot and a lot of folks got beat. If you ask me, it's a goddamn shame. A group like this would soil America's name for a lying con man that can't admit defeat. Well, they tried to have a coup boogaloo. It was a coup boogaloo. When the fascist crew came marching through, they turned D.C. into a zoo. In Civil War Part Two, you'll see me wearing Union Blue. 